So uh, hello, Karina. Um, as part of our sort of overall uh, discussions that we have obviously on our podcast and our general sort of chit chat, I thought it'd be good to sort of catch up with you and get your insights and your ideas and obviously your experiences of how it's been uh, for you in, as, a, um, as a member of the team, right? Obviously you've transitioned uh, from an intern to, a, I would say a part-time member of the team. You know, how, how do you think that transition happened? Yeah. Hello, Raj. Uh, well, in general, I would say the transition was very smooth because, uh, as you mentioned, I started as an intern having only the knowledge uh, that was given from the university, but I have never applied this to the practice, especially like uh, seeing this from the textbooks that we were given. And I didn't really expect that uh, the reality that would be applied from those textbooks, especially when it comes to the marketing sphere, because it's very like challenging and also very flexible in terms of the uh, based on the industry, for example, the tech industry. Yes very different from the food industry. So having in general the basic knowledge from the university, I started being an intern and seeing that the stuff works very different um, because in the books it was given like the basic uh, information that um, just the explanation of the different industries and how to apply them in the marketing sphere. Uh, but in the reality, uh, there are many tools that are being implemented, especially with the recent involvement of the AI. Um, also, the way, way more, um, a lot of instruments are actually using AI, so that's why it's very um, good for me to see that these changes are being made compared to those that we are studying in the university. And saying about the, in general, overall experience uh, with the team, I actually gained a lot of knowledge at first, because being an intern, I was just learning about the company, I was just learning about the industry in general, because I have never been involved in tech before. And then by starting understanding the company structure, the company products and the details, and also um, comparing them with the competitors uh, and using the marketing strategies that would apply to our company. Uh, it was very useful for me in terms of the gaining knowledge, first of all. And then by uh, obviously like the method of trials, yeah, uh, I actually got to understand finally the tech products because I'm kind of be becoming more a tech involved person because I can understand a lot of different things related to tech, like the HPC, the AI, the HAI, like all those different terms that were not uh, familiar before. Uh, but at the moment, like seeing that the other people in the field are using those words and the terms, I finally feel that I can understand what they are talking about, obviously, and I can understand that we can promote uh, our um, products and services like to the people who are really interested in that. Yeah, no, no. So that's that's a good point, actually. I think there's a there's a marketing media communications theory, and there's also the industry that you have to learn about. And, and I think, like, say, so you're transitioning from it just being like, what I said, just from, from interning to being an actual part time member, where we rely on you to to provide some input to, to for you to give some ideas. I guess is you know that's something that you did, you know you you're not taught that in, obviously in, in the in the university because you don't have any real life use cases to work from, right? The use cases you have are, are perhaps a bit old. Uh, yeah, the use cases were mostly given for us um, a little outdated right. because the industry always changes. Yeah, because uh, the AI, for example, is very recent thing, so that's why we didn't have any use cases for the AI. But we did have the use cases for the tech in general, for the tech products. Uh, so we, which we also did the home tasks for, or we also did the group works for. So we were prepared for those things, but just in the basic form, for example, those series, the management, the marketing series as well, the media series as well, like just seeing the social media, the offline, the online marketing, all those things, especially like scheduling the events, just those basic stuff were given to us, uh, while the overall general um i would say implementation to the practice was not given because we were distraught by the theory so that's why the, yes uh in the industry it's a place where we as students can apply our theories into to, to practice as well as uh, learn simultaneously from the university for example um at one day at the university at the course having the new scene and at the same time by analyzing that course and trying to implement this to the current work sphere that we are working at for example if we learn the new scene about the um, marketing strategy so we simultaneously try to apply this to our current workplace obviously if we work and study simultaneously as it was in my case so being given a certain material i was also trying to 
uh, give an idea and also I was trying to think how can we also uh, promote the product so in our style because uh, in the university it was given just as a theory but just to try this as a company practice so the theory was also given so it's just all about thinking simultaneously and trying to apply the theory to the practice uh, while working uh, because being given the information which is actual uh, is very useful to right. try this at the same time yeah, no, no, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. And also, I say, also, you're in Tashkent, and obviously, you got uh, people in the UK, obviously, Uzbekistan, or sometimes we, we have certain calls in different countries we're involved in. And obviously, like I say, we promote re- remote work. How has how's remote work been for you? Well, the remote work is actually uh, being considered a trend nowadays because. The re- because of the recent trends with the freelancers and the people who work online, work from anywhere, work from home policies that the companies also implement. It has been very beneficial for me as well as a student uh, because of the flexibility that the work from home affords. For example, being flexible, like just to uh, focus on the studies, for example, in the morning and then for the rest of the day, like focusing on the work more. We're also applying like those uh, new knowledge to the work at the same time. Um, and also being flexible, for example, when it comes to the certain holidays or the cases where obviously yeah the personal um per- per- personal things that uh, cannot be let's say predicted yeah so different um also drivings to the other cities and also the travels so all of them uh, also uh, all of them are also very useful um when it comes to working from home because as uh, working from home student i can apply um being flexible on the timing because I can be not only in Tashkent but in another city but at the same time I will not be uh, getting delayed with the work done because it is always being online because it's always being on the connection with the team so that's why it doesn't matter from where to work but it uh, matters how to work works effectively so that's why it's all about like the results and it's very useful instead of like let's say going to the office yeah for a certain amount of time and also uh, like just getting prepared to the staff yeah and also just spending a lot of time from uh, from work to home for example or from the university to work yeah especially as a student so that's why we're working simultaneously for example as soon as the class ends or as soon as uh, there is uh, a free timing so it's a possibility for the students especially to focus more on their work um at the same time as a setting yeah, yeah no so so i mean one thing obviously which you, you didn't mention is also this, you know we have the crm tools the calendar you use them effectively to tell you you know if, if you're not available or you're out in the office we can see that from anywhere as well you, you know the other colleagues can see you know your availability and you can see their availability as well so as long as these systems are used which you which you have been then, then it does make everybody's life a lot easier um and like i said the office you know the commute and things like that um i think uh, are not things you know you know, you're going to find it hard if you, if you, if you ever leave us uh, finding a job yet, where they say come into the office, right? Um, on, 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 the, on the role of uh, the international side, we touched on it a little bit. Um, obviously, now that you've had some exposure, you're, you're um, obviously dealing with some of the, with the UAE, like I say, with the UK. Um, has that helped you in terms of, obviously, you know, obviously having experience, I guess, is good. You dealt with some other nationalities as well, obviously some other cultures. Obviously, your English is very good. So, obviously, the work that you've done in the past um, in terms of learning English to the standard that you have, that is helping you now. Um, so, is there anything that, that uh, you, you know, you, you would say has been good or bad even uh, with, with speaking to people in, in other countries? Yeah, sure. Uh, speaking to the people of different nationalities, especially with the different countries, has been very beneficial for me uh, because I get to know more people from the different countries while being at home, for example. Yeah, so it's very um, good uh, to connect with people from the other countries while being at home at the same time. So from any part of the world, actually, like to talk to them, uh, to see them. And also uh, the, there is a thing uh, that is related to the culture. So, for example, I get to know more cultures. I get to know more uh, people's behaviors based on their countries that uh, they were living in, for example, in the UAE, in the UK, um, as well, for example, in India as well. So these are all different countries from different parts of the world. And obviously the people are different. The uh, language is actually also different at a certain point because um, 
we are uh, we, because for example uzbekistan yeah, uzbekistan is not an english speaking country and that's why uh we learn the english language like start, starting from zero starting from the basics and then seeing yeah seeing the people from different countries uh, who speak in who speak english yeah as a part of their like second language yeah easily so we get to know a lot of things especially a lot of different terms that we were not facing before uh for example me like different uh seeing different accents of the people as well and also different abbreviations or slangs because we were not taught uh, them before uh, but then experiencing that with the different people like to connect with the people i also understood that uh there is a factor that obviously the learning is important but the communication with the people is more important because only through the communication like the uh, horizons in general broad and also the understanding of different cultures because uh these are based on the languages and the culture very um connected to each other so that's why um like talking to them uh, is very, I would say, ensures that, that the mind uh, ensures the mindset is being grown as well. For example, um, in the working sphere. So just seeing the overall working sphere online, uh, it's very different from seeing the overall working sphere in Uzbekistan, for example. Uh, because in the UK, the working sphere is different. In the UAE, is different. And obviously in Uzbekistan, for example, it's also very different. So that's why seeing that online, uh, is actually um, really beneficial for just broadening the horizons as well and getting to know the people at the same time. Because, um, so when will I, let's say, we meet the people, yes, from the UK at the same time? Like just by traveling, if uh, it will not be uh, any internet or any connection, yes. But at the moment, uh, with the recent technologies, with the involvement of the internet, with its popularity, it's quite possible. So just to meet people from different corners. Okay, no, so is there a degree of apprehension then in anything? When you started this work, you know, were there things that we gave to you that you were a little bit, okay, what do I do here? Was there any apprehension that you had? Or maybe perhaps you lacked confidence in anything? Was there anything like that when you when you started or even now? Did, did mm -hmm. you have those moments? Um, in general, I was very excited, but at the same time, I was a little scared because I'm going like to obviously to start the work, yes, with the people from different countries because I didn't know, let's say, the people uh, from the UAE before, yeah, for example, because I didn't know like how they interact, what is their work culture, and uh, what are the things that they do implement in the real life as well and in general in the work. Uh, so that's why when I started working, I was um, excited, like uh, excited and nervous at the same time because. I was scared like whether my knowledge was enough to start the work properly and to uh, show that I can uh, do a certain input, even though I'm a student, but I can do a certain input uh, compared to uh, like the other people, for example, at my age. Uh, so obviously that has been the beginning thoughts uh, back one year ago, more than one year ago, actually. Right. Yeah. Uh, and that these were the, like the first thoughts that came to up to my mind. But then uh, after just seeing the people and starting working, um, I gained a certain confidence uh, because I've been using the tools a lot. So that's for example, the Canva tools and the other tools like the MailChimp, etc. I have been very familiarized with them in a short period of time. So that's why I started to improve them and also to apply the knowledge that I was given. So that would be also effective in terms of the communication and the like the posting, etc. Because compared to those publications, for example, or comparing to the previous designs and different things that I did in the company. So the things that I'm doing now are becoming better in terms of the quality as well and in terms of the messaging, for example. Um, so in general, yeah. And in the beginning, uh, there were also a lot of slangs. So to talking about the slangs, there were a lot of slangs uh, that I didn't know about, for example, like out of office, yeah, oh, oh, oh. So I didn't know what, what is oh, oh, yeah. I, I was just questioning myself, what was that? Or let, let's say, for example, the sock mint, yeah. Uh, the sock mint, I did, I had no idea what does the sock mint means. So after Googling me, it obviously after doing some research of the corporate, let's say, vocabulary, yeah, because we were not given those terms before. And then like hearing them for the first time, I was uh, very confused. Or for example, seeing like the products, for example, the HPC uh, that we are currently also working very actively on. So I didn't know before what does HPC mean. So I even didn't experience it before, because obviously in Uzbekistan we don't have this yet, I think. And that, that's why it was a very new information for me that I uh, knew that I did uh, needed to do a research on. 
So that's how, like, starting from the being a little nervous and then gain the confidence step by step by being involved with the people of different countries and the company in general. I, I am who I am today. No, that's good. That's good. No, 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 we've definitely. I mean, we, we've definitely noticed obviously a different way that that you approach things, and obviously the confidence is is definitely there and it's growing. Um, like I said, you know, we, we we do push you as well in terms of look, you know, you know, um, we did an interview, didn't we, first time where you were hosting. Obviously, we're looking to get some speeches done. There's events that will come up. Um, the other good thing that you've done recently as well is that you mentored and managed obviously some of the the the, the, uh, the younger. Uh, content contributors that we have as well right uh, which is never easy i mean the idea is that everything that we do is, is is based on obviously passing knowledge and information down um just if you talk briefly about how that co- that experience has been as well mm-hmm. yeah sure actually mentoring as the thing that we were not even taught at the university and i was not given before uh because obviously not not because of the age in general but the mentoring is seems something that is very social oriented thing because it's all about like the communication with the people and also like the proper delegation of different tasks to the people so that's how it can be done only through like just feeling it, experience it personally, but not study, uh, I would say, because uh, there are obviously different people and the different approaches that we need to apply on, for example, which was also with me uh, and the content creator. So we have uh, two editors at the moment uh, who are being uh, also were working for quite a long time as well uh, on the videos, on the shorter videos, on the longer videos. And at the beginning, obviously, it was very difficult for me because um, I, they, were, they were very much younger than me. And that's why I didn't know how to apply uh, my uh, knowledge to them. But at the same time, like uh, even though we had like the age gap, but the age gap was not as high as it seems to be uh, at first because I need to show them th- that I am a person who needs to be respected <laughs> for example first right. of all uh, yes because everything I think comes from the respect and then um, obviously not only respecting but also like uh, showing them that I can be a good mentor and if they are experiencing any difficulties with the videos I'm like very glad to help them for example I was trying to uh, make an image and impression of the person that at, at the same time needs to be respected but also needs to be treated as also as a mentor and as a yeah as a like uh, just a colleague who is a little older uh, and for, for example with the videos uh, at first they were not getting um, that they were not getting enough information from me because I tried like to um, get the get the tasks done and then I was just giving them tasks like saying oh please do that edit yeah and then after seeing like five or six edits of the people I, I just noticed that I need to give them my experience on the editing and then I need to show them my examples yeah because I see that they are not understanding the things but they are maybe afraid of asking me yes because I'm an older colleague and because I'm like very much demanding on the deadlines etc so that's why I kind of try to help them uh, with my experience, obviously showing them the examples of the work that was previously done, the cases that were done, yeah, the postings, etc. Trying to show them different statistics, like explaining them how it's very important, like to do a proper editing, etc. So yeah. then, uh, after obviously uh, errors and trials, um, they are now like improving a lot. So plus, yeah. we also get more comfortable with each other compared to the first times, yeah, because for the first time it was like. Like a certain uh not not the tension but we felt that we have the wall right. between each other yeah because we were uh, just introduced to each other and we didn't know like the personality of each other etc but then after talking for a certain time and having like the certain needs offline and online needs as well we started to get to know each other better and like trying to understand our personality so that's why uh, at the moment, we're feeling very um, comfortable with each other, I would say, uh, because I can text them uh, at any time, yeah, offering my help, for example, or just offering my explanation, yeah, what to do, etc. And they also, if they are willing to ask me some questions or if they have any troubles, let's say the technical troubles or the internet troubles that always uh, also, yeah, they are, they can be a thing usually. Uh, so even though uh, they, were, they were very um, uh, afraid to do so at the first time, yeah, okay. but... 
uh, step by step, they are becoming like very confident as well. Yes. No, no, sure. And- Sorry, go on. Go on. Yeah, no, so credit, credit, credit to you. I mean, I think that's that's a key thing. You, you mentioned also your own confidence and how that changed. And then obviously maybe subconsciously we said, okay, look, manage these these younger people. I think that's very good. You, you sort of mentioned it earlier. When you're talking to international people, you have to understand how they operate, how they work. Again, with younger people, you were lucky. You, were, you, you understood perhaps from your own experience what they might be going through as well. So I think that's actually, you know, again, you know, that's not something you can teach in the, in the, in the university, right? Um, so having that experience, yeah, having that experience is quite good. Okay, so on, on sort of the last question then, if you had to, you, know, you see your next, obviously you're, you're, uh, you're in summer holidays, you're going to go into your fourth and final year, um, obviously you'll, you'll, you'll graduate in, in, a, in a year's time, hopefully with obviously the, the, the top marks. But during this this um, this last sort of year of, of obviously doing this part-time work uh, with us, what do you see as three things that you either want to do, want to learn, want to try out or you know is there anything you know if, if you had to choose three things what what are those three things do you think um would be useful for you to do over the next year uh yeah in general it's actually a very good question uh i would like to say that um going mostly for the videos production because we have recently gained at certain courses where we are explaining how to do a proper video editing and video production for example like from the point of the marketing like not just only shoot the videos etc yeah but uh, shoot the videos according like to the all stages of the pre-production and production and obviously the post-production yes so i would like to try those things um like in the works here as well because seeing that we are actually i would say quite successfully doing the designs uh for example like the photos yeah the post with the photos etc but i would like also to implement a certain uh personal related stuff for example the video shooting yeah where the person is involved obviously so i would like to try this thing for first of all and also to try some uh event considerations because um we did some events before obviously yeah but, but these were the small events so that's why i would try also to try myself um as an organizer for the like marketing and uh also for the organizing of the event in general yeah which would be bigger uh and also which would be considered like from zero point because the events that we did before yeah for example they were given a certain structure yeah they were given a support etc but um i think that i would like to try uh, this, for example, my, myself also to experience it because I've seen a lot of people that have been helping during the uh, also event organizing, yeah, how they manage things to do. And that's why, like, from seeing from their experience, I would also try uh, to do this on my own, for example, yeah, like going to the next step, <laughs> obviously, of the experience. Uh, and probably the last thing that I would try to do, um, well, it's very challenging as well, I would say, but trying like to do the banner marketing also and also the creative marketing yeah the banner and creative marketing like just the they are considered the offline terms of marketing because True. at the moment yeah at the moment i'm mostly dealing with the online marketing yeah so we which is obviously a very important thing especially for the recent years because uh, every third post for example is advertising or every third post is like the post that is related to sell the product yeah or also to attract to the company uh so the, the, this is the online trends but as regards the offline trends um i've been getting a certain amount of knowledge but i would like to obviously to try them as well for example like doing the banners on the street yeah or also doing the offline marketing uh for example the creative marketing with the banners and the memes etc which is a very trendy thing nowadays so for the past one year yeah they are just being introduced um, but I would like to work on them more because they are, I believe, the things that will be promoted very much, um, I would say, successfully very soon. Okay. Okay. So now we look forward to um, we look forward to giving you the event, the event one that we will definitely be doing. Um, and uh, obviously on the banner stuff, yeah, we'll definitely discuss that as an idea. No, no, like I said, look, it's been a great uh, obviously discussion. I think hopefully, um, you know, your, your, your peers and, and people younger than you get to view this and, and, and understand it. And uh, like I said, we'll have hopefully in a year's time another chat on this and um, see what your next stage in your career will be. All yeah. right. Thank you. Thank you so much as well. Thank, Thank you for you. doing the podcast. Bye. Goodbye.